Excellencies, uh, Honorable uh, Ministers and Ambassadors, Delegates from the Ministries of the Education of uh, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Kenya, Nepal, Mauritius, Seychelles, and the United Arab Emirates representative from the partners, organizations, respected uh, religious leaders, uh, distinguished delegates, online participants, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would like to deliver this speech on behalf of His uh, Excellency Judge Muhammad Abdul Salam, Secretary General of Muslim Council of Elders and the Higher uh, Committee of Human Fraternity. Allow me to congratulate all the countries, delegation, for the important commitment and pledge that we have heard today and that uh, today means, I mean, what we have been done <laughs> last two days. Uh, and that we will uh, fundamental to advance the transformations of education system. It is an honor and a great pleasure for me to witness of the highest level of commitment uh, to our joint agenda to champion ethics education and to foster global citizenship for pe peaceful and inclusive societies. We have seen in these days concrete evidence of how ethics education contributes for fostering foster the principles of human fraternity, fraternity and uh, interconnectedness, uh, empathy and solidarity, uh, nurturing and positive relationship and empowering learning learns to transform society. We have also seen how ethics education can play fundamental role to enhance academic achievement and learn learning outcome. As a champion of ethics education, you have heard the call from our uh, youngest learners how they need education to be transformed to respond of the current needs and challenges of execution. Discriminations and violence in our society and you have responded with concrete solutions that promote transformation. The experience we, we hear from the implementations, the benefits to children, teachers, and education ministries is impressive. We know uh, the work we are doing together needs more partners, com uh, communities, institutions, government, and donor organizations to invest, to scale up the meaningful initiatives that have been implemented during this pilot phase and to ensure sustainable impact. Your work and your commitment as a champion will have a long-lasting legacy and will continue to inspire other countries in their journey to transform education. Let's continue to champion this together. Uh, here I would like to end of my uh, remarks and I would like to uh, congratulate everyone again and thanks everyone uh, to come to end this first phase after a marathon of two years uh, of this program since this started. Uh, it, it was, I mean, a lot of uh, uh, challenges has been uh, uh, worked through and uh, a lot of, we've seen a lot of 
champions that uh, managed to uh, to uh, get over it. And uh, I would like to encourage all governments, uh, ministers of education, to uh, encourage this program. Inshallah, we look after to go to the second phase of this program uh, together with our uh, 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 other uh, colleagues, uh, organizations, other ministries, inshallah, all together. I'd like to thank you very much for being here.